Hi, my name is Niall Dillon, Director of Construction for Intel Ireland. I have responsibility for all of our construction projects here on site. Since March of last year, we've implemented numerous measures to combat the COVID-19 pandemic, such as social distancing measures, increased welfare facilities, such as additional canteen facilities, drying room facilities, additional busing capacity to bring our contractors to site. We have also implemented safety measures on site to ensure the safety of our workers every day, such as pre-task plans that include COVID-19 protocols, and we encourage our employees to stop the work if they believe that what they're doing is not safe and cannot meet the safety protocols required for COVID-19. Hi, my name is Niall Gallagher. I'm the Environmental Health and Safety Manager on the construction site here in, in Leakslip. I'm responsible for implementing the COVID programme on site. And over the past number of months, we've seen significant changes in how we do business on site. How are you all? My name's Keith Kilroy, Senior Construction Manager for Mercury here in the project. So since COVID came in, we've had to review our execution plans and we've revved them up accordingly. In order to achieve this, the safety of the project, we need our team around us that are going to carry out the works to buy into that. In order for the lads on the ground to buy into it, we need to understand their needs on the project as well as our own. And we need to kind of change their attitudes to ensure that they match the, the project's execution plan as well. Hi, uh, my name is Garrett Geltrop. I'm a supervisor for Jones Engineering here in Intel. And we're putting in all the measures we can. We have a two metre rule, obviously, in place. The distance between each worker is very important. I've insisted that the guys, uh, they bring in their own hand tools. There's no passing of tools to each other. It minimises the risk, I think. And there's a COVID form we sign and fill out every single morning to show it's been sanitised. We're trying to implement like our own bubble, if you want to call it that, within our compounds and, and, and within the company. Morning all, my name is Fergal Corbett. I'm a construction project manager with Excise here. You see kind of the work area has been broken into smaller pods. We've looked at different lifting arrangements on the cranes. You know, how can you space the people out? You can have each kind of machine driver now. He has to clean down his particular cab before he leaves and before they start. We've implemented a one-way system. The footpaths have been widened, up and down systems on the stairs. Hi, my name is Neil Bird, construction manager with Excite. I'm responsible for logistics on site. We put plenty of signage, we put signage up in different languages because we're a multinational site here. We've staggered our breaks, we have different guys coming different shifts at different times, as well as on entry to the site and exit to the site. We've removed parts of the turnstile to allow people to come in and out. They can badge, so they haven't to touch, physically touch anything. In terms of welfare, we're one of the largest canteens in the country, as well as one of the largest kitchens. We can take thousands of people through the canteens daily. We've installed a one-way system, which allows people to go with the flow, enter, collect the food, pay and out. In terms of the tables, we wipe them down after every sitting and everything is recorded by the cleaners, dated and timed, so at least the next guy coming, the next lady coming, knows it's been cleaned, done and sanitised. We have a COVID mark of smoking areas to restrict the amount of people going in. And one of the biggest challenges we've had on site is regarding you know, the use of eyeglasses or safety glasses as well as face masks and masks fogging up. So we spent a lot of time looking at various alternatives, be it face shields, different types of masks, just to try and get people something that works best for them to prevent their glasses from fogging up and help them to actually comply with the, the rules and regulations on site. Hello, my name is Kieran O'Neill. I work for Mercury Engineering. Well, there's all sorts of different types of masks made available. This one works for me better than most. I wear the prescription glasses, as you can see. Others wear the surgical masks. It just depends on what way your bone structure is and what suits you. The difference with this cultural change is this is happening not just in your job, it's happening at home. So the mask is second nature now to people. We've encouraged anybody that can work at home that they do work at home if it's comfortable for them and it suits their environment. A lot of lads that we've removed from, this, from the work base on the site would be the likes of our engineering team, our graduate engineering team if possible, and procurement and our supporting team into the construction staff as well. Brought back our trades on site then that we've one starting time for our electrical team and another for our mechanical team to try and limit the numbers in certain areas of the project at certain times. In terms of transport, we use buses to ferry our workforce here. They come from various locations. We have two metre social distancing lined out. We've put hand wash stations in place and we've put face masks available on the buses as well as hand washes on the buses. On returning to site, we would fill out and complete a COVID-19 self-declaration form. It will show you, you know, where you've been, what you've done, have you had illnesses or have you not, and have you had any contacts with anyone uh, positive or anything like that, you know. If someone isn't feeling well, if the symptoms add up to being actual symptoms, they will go and they will get a, a COVID-19 uh, test, and then they will return to site, be it the result on, the, on that, you know. 
We've also asked our supervisors here on the site to take up the role of COVID marshals as part of their daily tasks, going around the site. Obviously, they're coordinating their works, but asking the operatives to make sure they're maintaining their social distance, make sure they're using the facilities here on site, to constantly wash their hands with hand sanitizers and use the facilities well. Unfortunately, COVID seems to be here to stay, but we think we're here to stay as well, and it's a challenge that we're willing to meet head on. These safety measures are monitored very closely by our on-site environmental health and safety teams. We also follow all of our government guidance very closely and we adjust our protocols based on guidance from the government.